Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, right. Thanks for joining us on today's video. I'm smiling because I'm thinking about this car coming out in 1957. I'm, what was the world like? We're talking about so many modern accoutrements that we're used to today that weren't available back then. We're talking about no microwave oven, no internet, no cell phone, iPhone, so many things. Much more simple life. This is why people get cars like this because you get in this car and it makes you smile. I see it just happens when I even just talk about it. When this car goes down the road, it's amongst a lot of other supermodels inside the showroom here, but get it out on the road and it is spectacular. Now, let's talk about the restoration on this car. Claimed $130,000 spent on it. Every nut, bolt, fastener, detail, engine inside, engine outside, transmission rear end, lug nut, wire, wiring, every piece replaced, replated, or restored. The underneath of this car is as beautiful as the top is, showing less than a thousand miles since the restoration. Two tops, right? Most people don't know that the Thunderbird came standard with a hard top. It did not come with a convertible top, which was the opposite of many other cars that came standard with a convertible top, but didn't come with a hard top, all right? This car has both tops with it. The Inca gold paint is, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it to you. On the road and outside, it is spectacular looking. The quality of it, though, is even better. So let's take a peek at that real quick. I love to do this so you can kind of see the clarity of each and every letter. All right, so we're talking about uh, uh, styling that was very ahead of its time. The reason cars are collectible, the reason cars continue to go up in value are for several reasons. One, the condition of the restoration. Two, how authentically reproduced or reproduced, uh, I mean, restored in that sense too. Does it have the original engine in it or transmission? Has it been modified in any way, right? So the only modifications that we can tell that are on this car is the addition of the wire wheels. Since 57 T-Bird, you couldn't get wire wheels from the factory, but everybody puts them on because they look so nice. And this also has uh, radial tires. The radial tire didn't come out to the early 70s, so this would have been bias ply tires, but cars don't drive well with bias ply tires. That's a little bit of upgrades that are in here. Uh, and probably the last thing that I would do is I would probably get uh, us to install a hidden sound system, like it's just a digital sound system where you can stream your music and things like that through there and leave the dash all stock looking because when we get inside the car, you're gonna go, wow, that is beautiful. All right, so let's take a peek under here. You may or may not care to take this to a car show, but you could. Look at this. This is probably one of the nicest engine compartments we've ever seen here. This does have an upgrade, which I love. Uh, and they've hidden it and they've done a really nice job. This has modern air conditioning and heat in it, okay? Back then, you didn't get a great system. Uh, this system here is nice, it's compact, it's hidden underneath the dash, which allows you to keep everything stock here, all right? Look at the clamps that are in here. Look at the, the detail. All the pieces have been replated and re -chromed. The original tag here describing uh, how the car was built on the assembly line, right? And things like the washer bag, still in the plastic here, right? Because they don't want it to get dirty. Power steering, not all these cars came with power steering. Power brakes, not all these cars came with power brakes. This is all beautifully restored. You have no idea how much time it takes to get an engine compartment to this level. Everybody can say, well, I have a rebuilt engine. You have a rebuilt engine, but this right here costs as much to do as rebuilding the whole engine. 
All right, so come take a peek here. And I, uh, the reason I spend some time on a trunk is because that really does describe a little bit about the car, the detail effort that goes into it. Most people who restore a car don't care about the trunk. They care about the outside and maybe the inside. I'm showing you all this stuff because you can see where the money gets spent. So come on in here for a second. This is probably one of the nicest trunks you'll see in your lifetime. The jack is painted all correctly. The filler tube for that, the tartan mat that's in here, original style spare tire that's in here, all that's detailed and painted. This, this is sound insulation, believe it or not, is done correctly. Jacking instructions. Now, we have uh, books here for just descriptions and ordering some parts and just the Thunderbird in general, right? But that's not the part that's so exciting. Oh, that's really great. The fact of the matter is this has three covers that come with it. It has a full car cover, right? It has a cockpit tonneau cover, and then it has a windshield over the back kind of cover. So if you didn't want to put all that in there and you wanted to go someplace, you just put that on real quick to so keep the sun off the seat so it's not hot when you got back into it. Oh, and it also keeps the dust and dirt out. And that is a lot of covers. That means clearly somebody cared to cover this car. Not only did they garage it, but they covered it in three different ways. And that's the kind of car you should be looking for. All right, so let's get inside here. There's some great detail to a Thunderbird that some people overlook, and I want to share a little bit about that because I get this all the time. Wow, that's a great looking car, but you don't really know why it's a great looking car. Let me point out some of the things. First off, it has a great hood scoop on it and great body lines, right? All right, but secondly, this is engine turn dash, matches the door panels, the dash there too, right? That takes extra effort and dollars to make. That's why you get a nicer car. And inside each door panel is the Thunderbird insignia embossed into the door panels. Most people overlook those little bit of details, okay? Now let's talk about options on a car. This car here has probably every single option that, uh, that I've known of. I shouldn't say maybe every single option, but what I should say is it has probably every option you could get, right? For instance, like it has power seats, right? It has power windows, okay? It has a town and country radio. This has air conditioning. This also has, a lot of people don't know that T-Birds come with, telescopic steering wheel. Almost no one in the world knows that except for people who watch the video like this, all right? Full array of gauges, so you have your 140 mile an hour speedometer, you have fuel, you even have a tachometer down here. This was a performance luxury car and it says so inside and it's just beautiful. Even here it's embossed, right, with the T-Bird. Your convertible top is behind here, so you take that with you, you don't have to worry about that. And if you want a completely different look, we have the hard top there that's painted with the, with the portal window that is known throughout the land. Everybody knows the portal window when they see it is a styling feature of the 57 T-Bird. All right, so we close up the video on this spectacular T-Bird. This is one of the finest restored T-Birds we've ever had, ever seen, been to a car show, whatever. Hands down with the nicest ones. And it drives great. Throw in the fact that it has overdrive transmission. This is awesome, man. You could take this to the beach. It's got room in the trunk for all your stuff, right? It's got air conditioning. It's got two tops. It's got three covers for it. It's got wire wheels. It has everything that makes this car spectacular and a little nicer than all the other ones out there. All right, 57 T-Bird, call us 301-816-1000. And for more prices, pictures, and description, click on the link below and it'll take you right to it.